this should be good news for public transport operators and drivers forced to operate under reduced capacity. The Service Contracting Scheme Transport Authorities and the Interagency Task Force for Emerging Infectious Diseases, or IATF-EID, call it the Service Contracting Scheme. But what it really is, is a subsidy for public transport operators and drivers now operating at much reduced capacity, virtually a 50% reduction. The subsidy is included in the Bayanihan to Recover as One Act, or the Bayanihan II, the stimulus measure aimed at helping the economy recover from the effects of the lockdowns prompted by the COVID-19 pandemic. DOTR Assistant Secretary for Road Transportation and Infrastructure, Steve Pastor, said the inclusion of a service contracting scheme in the bill was in response to fears that PUV operators and drivers may not be able to sustain operations with the reduced capacity. This may lead to inconsistent travel trips, causing commuters to compete for rides, while drivers and operators disregard passenger capacity in exchange for more revenue, he said. The LTFRB is already formulating guidelines and processes on how to determine the amount of subsidy for operators and drivers and how this will be distributed or turned over to them. The LTFRB said that ostensibly, the government will be contracting transport services from operators and drivers, and payment will be based on the total vehicle kilometers of service rendered. A third-party entity will be doing the counting, said LTFRB. The subsidy will only begin to benefit operators and drivers and commuters too once the service transacting scheme is implemented. Direct and indirect beneficiaries of the subsidy should be praying that the LTFRB will implement the scheme soonest.